We were incredibly excited tonight to actually deliver our first production Tesla semi trucks. Tesla's emerging rival, Renault Trucks, delivered vehicles with a range of 190 miles, while the Tesla Semi will do 500 miles on a single charge, making it the most powerful heavy duty electric truck of all time. During this delivery, a lot of groundbreaking new details about the Tesla Semi were revealed by Elon Musk. So what are these new updates for the Tesla Semi? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing that bell so you won't miss out on any of our new and interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. As expected, Tesla delivered the first electric trucks to PepsiCo, a longtime reservation holder, and held a presentation to reveal more details about the production version of the Tesla Semi. The first vehicle was delivered to PepsiCo at an event held at Tesla's factory near Reno, Nevada. The company plans to begin volume production of the sharp-edged heavy pickup at its new factory in Austin, Texas in 2023. Their goal is to produce around 100 Tesla Semis this year. Let's talk about the price of the Tesla Semi. Back in 2017, Musk had said that the Semi top model would cost $180,000. They have increased the prices of its passenger vehicles sharply since then, and the Semi will be no exception. The expected price is now 200,000. The diesel Mac Anthem truck is a versatile truck with day cab and sleeper options. Day cab models can start at around 100,000 and sleeper models typically start around 140. It is about $60,000 cheaper than the Semi, but in the long run, the Tesla Semi is the optimal choice. The company also claims that the Semi is two and a half times cheaper to refuel when compared to diesel trucks and can provide $200,000 of fuel savings in the first three years of ownership. Now let's talk about the exterior of the Semi and how it changed from when it first appeared. There's absolutely no doubt that the vehicle's interior is luxurious and quite the change compared to most diesel trucks on the market today. The single seat layout and cabin design are set to offer maximum road with the driver flanked by a pair of 15 inch touchscreens. There is a usual assortment of tech as well, including wireless phone charging. The cab is also tall enough inside for drivers to stand, allowing room to move around if needed. Well, I, mean, and, I mean, you're a tall guy, Elon, like yeah. you're able to stand up just fine. Aside from looks, performance is a key aspect. So what's going on with the Tesla Semi's motor? So essentially we're using the, 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 the Plaid Model S, Model X uh, powertrain. Did you know that the Semi is actually going to utilize a tri-motor system? The tri-motor system and carbon sleeved rotors in the Semi are the same ones used by Plaid vehicles such as the Model S and X. There's one unit for efficiency and two acceleration units for torque. Musk said the drive unit is small enough to hold in your hand and can power a semi with an 80,000 pound load. What kind of battery pack will the semi have then? Musk says that Tesla is currently using the 2170 battery for the semi. However, he's also expecting to use the 4680 for the Tesla semi in mid-2023. Tesla has not disclosed how large the semi's battery is, though multiplying the energy consumption by driving range points to a 1000 kilowatt hour battery. The semi will be charged using V4 superchargers that offer 1 megawatt DC charging, which is also meant for the Cybertruck. This smaller cable is liquid cooled and can offer 1 megawatt of power through it for high power charging. But that's not all. Charging power must be increased by four times if we compare a 1 megawatt to 250 kilowatt V3 supercharging and has to be potentially maintained longer. Uh, so you don't need like a gigantic elephant trunk of a cable, you can actually have a small, small cable and that cable delivers uh, a megawatt. This is why in parallel Tesla will also more than double the voltage to about 1000 volts. During the first quarter of 2022 earnings call, Tesla executives were asked if the company has plans to adopt an 800 volt architecture for its vehicles, similar to those used by rivals like the Porsche Taycan. Back then, Tesla SVP of powertrain and energy engineering Andrew Buglino noted that if Tesla did adopt such a system, it would be for larger vehicles like the Semi or the Cybertruck. Considering Musk and Priestley's comments during the Semi's unveiling, however, it appears that the Semi will only be the first of several vehicles vehicles that will feature a 1,000-volt powertrain. Yeah, we did take one restroom break for 
there, there is a required mandatory 30 minute break within the first eight hours of operation. What is the true range of the Tesla Semi? Company engineers also tested Semi in a variety of harsh conditions to maximize reliability and durability. So that, that truck's clocking it at 82. That, that's weighing 82,000 pounds. It's interesting to note that Tesla only completed the first fully loaded 500 mile trip with this truck on Monday this week. The truck carried 81,000 pounds during this trip, which is near the gross combination weight of the truck of 82,000 pounds. Musk says Tesla has been using semi-trucks day and night from Sparks, Nevada to the company's factory in Fremont, California. And that is its first class onboard technology. So what updated bells and whistles are included in the new Tesla Semi? The company said regenerative braking with Semi changes the game since it's safer when going downhill, with brakes never being used to slow down the truck. In standard mode, the regenerative braking is quite strong and allows a careful driver to operate the vehicle without using the friction brakes very often. Musk called it mind-blowing that the Semi can have cold brakes after descending. And what that means is you've got regenerative braking. So rather than using a Jake brake or engine braking like a diesel truck. Is it equipped with the autopilot feature? There was no mention of autopilot, but we assume it is fully integrated and ready. Here's a peek at the three cameras mounted in various positions on the semi-truck's side mirrors, as shared by a Twitter user. One of them is used to feed the side views inside the vehicle, and we expect that Tesla's goal is to eventually be able to remove the mirror part of the side mirror to only use the camera feed and improve the aerodynamic performance. In conclusion, it looks like Tesla has integrated its autopilot slash FSD hardware suite into the Tesla Semi, but it's not talking about enabling self-driving capacity like it is in its passenger vehicles. With the first Tesla Semi deliveries now underway, the company is preparing to ramp up production with a target of 50,000 units in 2024 for the North American market. Can you guess the production capacity of the Tesla Semi? And do you believe Tesla will reach 50,000 cars by 2024? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.